Yes, um, hello. Uh, good morning, everybody. And I would very much like to thank the organizers for inviting me to speak in this uh, event. And, and I would very much like to be there with you. Um, I'd also like to do uh, right away thank uh, Birgit for a very um, informative uh, uh, speech on something that I didn't know so much about in advance. Um, I will start with a statement um, that some of you or many of you might find a bit surprising, if not uh, really um, completely provocative. Uh, with regard to integration in the broad sense, uh, focusing on collective cultural rights, social unity and cohesion, and good ethnic relations, I think Finland is the European champion. I even believe that, that my country would seriously compete for the title of world championship. If this surprises you, I can assure you that this judgment would make most of my compatriots also quite embarrassed. Why do I say this? Because the facts say so. If we start uh, with language policy, uh, Finland is an officially bilingual country and one of the very few that is not simultaneously a federal state. The Sami, as an indigenous people uh, speaking three languages, have cultural autonomy uh, in the northernmost uh, part of the uh, country, which is called also their domicile area. Uh, alongside Evangelic Lutheranism, the Orthodox Church has an official status, and also other denominations, including Jewish and Islamic ones, are entitled to state subsidies. Finland does not have a list of national minorities, but the state officially recognizes the existence of the Roma, Tatars, Jews and Russians, for example, and the cultural rights of people belonging to these communities. Tensions between ethnic groups are scarce, even though not completely non-existent. Broader questions about cultural rights and the sense of belonging are um, actually not discussed in Finland under the conceptual umbrella of integration. The concept of integration is in use in Finland only in the context of immigration and immigrants. Integration refers to, on the one hand, uh, the process of finding one's place in Finnish society, which is called in Finnish kotoutuminen, uh, and the support from public authorities to assist in that process kotouttaminen. I shall now briefly concentrate on this more limited understanding of integration before returning to the larger picture in the end of my speech. I believe Regarding the discussions of yesterday, I believe I understand the background of the quite critical uh, speeches of uh, venerable academic uh, colleagues. However, I would also like to make some critical remarks regarding their notions and observations. Firstly, I think that the often mentioned modernist idea of integration as a one-way process of accommodation and the criticism towards that idea is somewhat outdated. Not too many people anymore think that it would be so simple. Secondly, there definitely has been a backlash against uh, multiculturalism in the last 15 years or so. But the nationalist agenda and nationalist uh, rhetoric should not be exaggerated. In practice, if we look very closely what is happening, actually there has not been that much change as it might uh, seem. Thirdly, 
There indeed are big differences between countries, between not only Anglo-American, Western European and Eastern European countries, but also between Nordic countries, for example. Sweden is very differ different to Germany. The speakers of yesterday uh, talked quite aptly about the need to contextualize always. Still, they tended to generalize a lot themselves. I will now use Finland as an illustration of these uh, criticisms. First, if we look at the um, development of population, foreign population in, in Finland, we see that there were not many foreigners in Finland in the end of 1980s, but since then uh, both uh, the number of them and the share of them of the population has been uh, uh, quite rapidly increasing. And in Finland, there is a strong concentration of foreign background population, especially in the uh, Helsinki region, the capital um, uh, area. I think what is good uh, in, in Finland um, is that compared to many other countries, Finland started reacting to the increase of immigration quite swift, swiftly. And the first legislation came into force already in 1999, which in, in European context is really relatively early. This law uh, defined integration as a personal development of immigrants aimed at participation in working life and society while, and this is noteworthy, while preserving their own language and culture. It was not about assimilation, it was a kind of a dual track participation and preservation. Secondly, integration in Finland was uh, from the very beginning uh, understood as a two-way process. Also, the, the Finnish mainstream population and mainstream institutions have to, to change, have to uh, adapt their operations and attitudes to, to um, understand the changing um, realities. Then, The, this Integration Act has been re revised once, but the point is that, that the Finnish um, approach has been relatively consistent, where, consistent, whereas in other countries such as Denmark or the Netherlands, there have been very big changes in how integration has been perceived and, and how it has been uh, practiced. Um, I, I don't have time enough to, to go into detail in what, ha what happened in, in those changes, but, but there was some change, but re not really not that much. And there have been uh, also some reforms uh, after the so-called um, refugee crisis in 2015, 2016, focusing more on employment uh, and already uh, during integration um, uh, courses. But the boy point is that there has been a strong uh, level, high level of continuity in Finnish integration policy. This is, uh, is, a, is a picture that shows them the main uh, services uh, supporting integration, but I do not have time to um, go into detail regarding those. Uh, what I want to show is that also with regard to evaluating integration policy, Finland seems to not to be doing things quite uh, so badly. Uh, the integration, uh, the migrant integration policy index evaluates uh, national policies regularly and Finland gets quite high scores uh, in, in that uh, context. In 2020, Finland became second right after Sweden. This index measures how well legislation and institutional uh, arrangements 
assists immigrants in finding his or her place in, in the society. On the right hand side, we see that also here um, um, integration is being seen as a multi dimensional um, um, process and activity. Actually, um, in, in Finland, uh, as, as in many other countries, uh, integration is usually measured by, by uh, employment. If one is, has, an, has a job, then one is integrated. And, and if one doesn't have a job, then, then integration has failed. But in fact, and I think most of my, my uh, colleagues and, and lots of civil servants in, in, at the European level also um, um, ag agree, integration is indeed a multifaceted uh, phenomenon. It's not only about finding a, a job, but also about cultural skills, social relations, and the sense of uh, belonging among uh, others. This is also nowadays how integration is being measured in the European Union and in Finland as well. And you never know which comes first. Sometimes you need language skills in order to get a job. Sometimes a job helps you learn the language and get friends and start identifying it, identification with um, the so society. If I would have more time, I would uh, could show a lot of data about integration of immigrants in, in Finland. Uh, Estonians in Finland are a very interesting case because uh, at one dimension, of some dimensions, especially uh, the, the position in the labor market, they seem to be very successful. But if we look at the identification with the Finnish society and Finnish nation, not, not that much as uh, uh, integration seems to have happened. This chart only shows how the unemployment rate by, by background in, in the city of Helsinki has been changing. I don't have much uh, time enough to, to, to um, discuss it, but, but it shows that, that it fluctuates really much with uh, economic uh, down up uh, turns and downturns. Just uh, to conclude, um, this is slides um, summarizes my main, main points. Um, there has been indeed a rapid increase uh, and it's focusing especially in the Helsinki region of the country. The f uh, development, uh, the, the uh, integration policy in Finland was developed relatively early and it has received international credit. Uh, the employment especially is problematic for many, many uh, migrants, especially for those with a refugee uh, background. And uh, many women in particular are, are outside the labor uh, force. Um, however, before going to that, I, I think that the situation is not as bad as you, as the image that you might get if you are um, listening to um, right-wing nationalists and, and populists. That that often, if we consider that the Finnish integration has been has failed, then it is it has failed because the expectations have been too uh, unrealistic. It's also very uh, difficult to say what is the problem because similar kinds of problems can be uh, seen um, in many countries. The, the true test of, of Finland regarding integration now is how the so-called second generation, those belonging to, to, to uh, uh, th those born in Finland, but to parents born abroad, how they will find their place in, in, in the Finnish society. So to finish, I would like to, to uh, come back to where I started. Minority rights may be extraordinarily well guaranteed in Finland, but this probably tells more about other countries than it does about Finland. Furthermore, Everything is not as good as it seems on the northern side of the Gulf. 
there is discrepancy between the institutional framework and, our, and how it has been implemented. The linguistic rights of Swedish speakers are not properly uh, realized. There are disputes regarding the status of Sami and, and so on. There is relatively widespread xenophobia, direct and in, in, uh, indirect discrimination and even racism. So there still is a lot of things to do. Thank you very much.